Hi everybody, welcome to Wise Kong Driving. It's uh, about 7.20 in the morning and the sky is nice and the sun is just coming out. It's a Sunday morning and there are lots and lots of cars here. But what we have today is the GR Corolla and we want to see how it fares compared to the GR Yaris that we drove before. And for today we have one passenger and he's here. Say hi to Nathan and hi. he's our regular victim, <laughs> sorry, uh, passenger for the drive. And so Nathan, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, we are just setting out from the BH Patrol and so today our task is very very simple <laughs> we're going to see how this car performs versus the GR Yaris okay so the difference is this car has about 30 PS more uh, 30 plus PS more yeah so now we have 300 PS, 370 Newton meters of torque, and it's got the same all-wheel drive system with uh, what you call torque split variations of 60, 40, that means 60 in the front, 40 in the back. Then you have the option of 30 in the front, 70 in the back, and also the 50, 50 front and back that is under the track mode. So we have uh, big brakes 18 inch wheels uh, four pot calipers in the front and two pot calipers in the back fixed calipers i think and um, we have a very similar suspension setup between the two which is uh, mcpherson struts in the front and also um, double wishbone in the back which is like uh, the tnga setup So, uh, weight is about 205 kilos higher than the GR Yaris and we hope that the extra weight is taken up by the extra power, yeah. So, in terms of width, it is wider and uh, it is bigger, so we need to see how it performs uh. and we have a GR Yaris. <laughs> who has overtaken us traction control yeah yeah okay so this car also comes with all the belts and whistles in terms of Toyota safety sense you know and uh, it has an air conditioner and there's another thing about the aircon there is a econ mode for the aircon so <laughs> i think that one helps a bit if you are driving uh, fast and you want to have more power anyway today we have and we hope that all the cams don't fall off we have a face cam so you can see nathan's handsome face <laughs> And then we have a cam that comes from the in between the two seats shooting up front then we have a rear cam facing backwards we don't have a front uh, bonnet cam today and we have a foot cam with a foot light 
but I didn't wear my racing shoes, so <laughs> you see black shoes. Okay. So on the road, it feels much the same as the GR Yaris, but I think maybe it's a little bit more stable because it's got wider stance, yeah. And yes, the car is bigger. This is the C segment car. Uh, of course, the difference between this and the base Corolla is that the wheelbase has been shortened to 2640 instead of uh, 2700. So it's uh, 60 mm shorter, and I think that is to accommodate the four wheel drive system, keep the weight down, a shorter drive shaft in the front and back, and also um, to in to improve the handling so we just got overtaken by a A35 so today is Sunday there are a lot of people going up to Genting a little jazz <laughs> that's a city hatch right the one in front of us huh the one in front of us yeah no it's the uh, impreza oh it's the impreza yeah hmm looks very small huh? yeah it's the I forget I don't know which version but it's the, the wagon the hatchback wagon I don't know <laughs> Well, so far the car is driving okay. Uh, earlier we did a bit of a check on the RPM per thousand, uh, rather the speed per thousand RPM in six gear. It is 40 kilometers per hour per thousand RPM. So the top speed of this car is about uh, 230. That is the motor top speed. So it doesn't have a high top speed. Uh, the gears are very short. There's a six-speed manual and there's also a, what you call the IMT Which does the blipping for you? Okay, we are going to go to 50-50 track mode. Yeah Guys, this is a 1.6 liter three cylinder engine, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are getting near to the exit. Yes, signals are on the right hand side of the steering column. Traction control off. I think it's off. Okay, so here we go.
looks like traffic can be quite heavy today. Yeah. Don't forget to breathe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Needs again. <laughs> Motorbike. Bike.
<laughs> there was something. What do you think? Oh, the G force. Look at the G force meter. The G oh, <laughs> the G force through the corners were crazy. <laughs> This is much and more I was minimizing it. <laughs> but that was much more intense than the golf R. Is it? Yeah. Okay guys, uh, so in between, uh, I would say that uh, so far, <laughs> the GR Corolla has performed very well. Maybe I wasn't so used to the GR Yaris then. Uh, so after having had a bit of experience with the GR Yaris now in the Corolla, I am a bit more confident maybe, yeah. And so, the car is... <laughs> <laughs> Stupendous, <laughs> stupendously awesome. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this, lah. Uh, Mom, can I buy one? <laughs> okay. And here we are at the start of stage two. Oh, the pump, the pump not there anymore. Oh, the pump's not there anymore. Oh, it's been a while since you came here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
Oh, it's raining. Yeah. Woo! Motorbike in my lane. Mystique, you see. <laughs> Fortunately, it was just about three or four corners, and Nathan, we are here. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> I'm actually sweating. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we let things cool down. So guys, how is this car? Fantastic. Really fantastic. Uh, so it costs a little bit more than what the GR Yaris did. But I think it's worth every penny. No? So if you really want to enjoy driving, and this car is actually quite easy to drive. Uh, you will be surprised what it can do, you know. Uh, I think your only limitation is yourself, lah. Yeah. Whether you have the nuggets to do it <laughs> or not, you know. Uh, but uh, I did push it a little hard. Uh, was I ever out of control? No. Uh, was it easy to drive? Yes, definitely very easy to drive. If you are average driver, you will look like a very good driver in this car. I tried a couple of times where I fought with the steering wheel, you know, make it turn, and it did. <laughs> you know, it's, it wasn't, there wasn't any protesting. Uh, there was a little bit of understeer, but the car just pulled through and no problem at all. And today, my foot cam didn't fall off so guys uh, even though it's without the racing shoe uh, you see a pair of black shoes but I hope you can see a little bit of uh, footwork and yeah this is manual and just for those of you who are curious we did not turn the IMT on that means the auto blip we didn't turn it on so overall nice car I've had a couple of friends who have bought from us and uh, they are very very happy with the car and uh, as for me i'm very very happy with the car anyway we do have very limited stocks coming in so if you want do drop me a line yeah whatsapp me at 016-335-0609 or you can go to our site shop.yskongdriving.com and find out more about how to book the car yes you can book it online Okay, so that's all we have to say for today and uh, thanks for being with us. I hope you enjoyed the video and I know some of you just look at Nathan's face la. <laughs> <laughs> to see whether he has turned green uh, and some of the girls will be looking at Nathan's face. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyway, uh, don't forget to like, share and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe we need all the subscribers we can get so that our sponsors will give us more cars to drive and then we can have more videos to show you so thank you very much for being with us and till we meet again bye bye <laughs>